Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Coral, and today I'm filming my book haul. And uh, I'm filming this a little bit earlier in the month. It's only April 18th. So I'm doing this because I have some exciting news for me, <laughs> not for you, I'm sorry. I hope you have really great news today at some point. But um, I have some new bookshelves coming in and I spent a good bit of money on them. I bought four bookcases, so I splurged a little and I bought enough to fill the space I wanna fill in this room. My point of this is that I'm gonna try really hard to not buy books for a couple months to like make up for spending this money on my bookshelves, even though now I will have room to put the books when I buy them, as opposed to them just being stacked on my floor like they are now. But also I kind of bought way too many books this month. In fact, I am breaking this video up into two sections. I'm going to talk about some of the more recent modern books that I bought this month and then I will have a whole nother video for the um, older vintage books that I bought this month. So are you ready for this? It's a little bit outrageous. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why? Uh, I'm not sorry because I keep doing it and because I'm excited and I'm glad and I don't have buyer's remorse about these books. I guess first I will talk about some YA science fiction books I bought this month. The first one here is Warcross by Marie Lu. I read one of her other books and I really liked it. I never picked up the rest of the series, which is a shame. I need to do that. But I found this on sale, so I got it. It is such a beautiful color underneath this beautiful dust jacket. And this book is a, like I said, a YA science fiction. Um, it kind of sounds to me like the anime Sword Art Online where kind of a little bit, I don't think that they get stuck in this video game, but, um, or maybe kind of like Ready Player One, where you log on to this massive online multiplayer game. And the main character works as a bounty hunter. I think she tracks down people who hack the game, maybe. Oh, who bet on the game illegally. I'm not sure what that means because I'm not really sure what the game is. But I could be totally wrong about this whole thing about it being kind of like Sword Art Online because I really don't know. I'm talking at my ass right now. Um, but she does something illegal in the game and instead of um, being admonished for it or getting arrested for it, uh, the creator of the game contacts her and wants her to be a spy for him inside the game. That's all I know about it. The next book I have here is The Final Six by Alexandra Monier, I think her name is pronounced. And uh, I don't know a ton about this, just like every other book I buy ever, pretty much. Um, what I do know is this seems like um, there's this group of teenagers, they've been hand selected, they're the best at something, and they are training to go to Europa, which is one of Jupiter's moons. And I love movies like this. I haven't read a ton of books that are like, not necessarily uh, take place in space, because I've read some books like that, but I'm talking about like, not, necessarily too futuristic. Like I'm talking about things like The Martian and stuff like that, um, or the movie Gravity or the movie The Europa Report, stuff like that where it's like um, a feasible future, like a future that could just be a couple years from now and those people going into space. And I love stuff like that. And I think this will be sort of like that. 
Okay, now on to the horror books I bought this month. First one I have here is another hotter edition. Um, I finally got my hands on a good copy of the Tommy Knockers, which is, I don't know, is this one of my favorite Stephen Kings? It might be, I reread it over and over again. Something about it is like so good, <laughs> even though I know not a lot of people like this one, or I know King himself doesn't like it, but it has a nice red spine. It's gonna look on my shelves. Uh, I also got one of the Scribner. Don't have yet. This is Full Dark, No Stars. This is a short story collection. And I have not read this one. This is a short story collection, right? Yeah, it looks actually like this might be um, more of like a collection of novellas rather than short stories. Because there's only four stories in this one. I also got The Chrysalis by Brendan Deneen, I think. Uh, this is about a couple who moves into a house that seems suspiciously too good to be true. It probably is. <laughs> um, uh, and I don't, I just barely skim the synopsis of these because I think that the synopsises give too much away but it seems like uh, there's something going on in the basement and the husband becomes obsessed with it. That's what I know. I also picked up Foe by Ian Reed. Also never read any of his books. I have, I'm thinking of ending things and I haven't read it. But I've heard that this one is super good. Uh, from what I gleaned off the synopsis, it seems like a man and a woman, not sure if they're partners, not sure if they're related, uh, they live together though outside of town and um, a stranger shows up and says uh, the man has, uh, someone needs the man for something in like all the transportation needs for him to get to wherever this is and stuff. Like that's already taken care of, he can just go. And he goes and someone comes to stay with a woman. I don't know, I'm not really sure about this one, um, like what it's about but I love this cover and I've heard really good things about this one. Next, I have two of my Nightworms books from this month. I'll leave a link to that if you'd like a full synopsis of this. Um, we got two Josh Mallerman works. We got um, A House at the Bottom of a Lake and his very new beautifully colored book inspection. Okay, I also have a couple fantasy books here. I got Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Um, this is about a, I think he's a librarian of some sort. And I think he studies this um, kind of ancient civilization or like an ancient city. It seems kind of like what Atlant Atlantis would be to us, um, but it's called Weep, and I'm not sure beyond that exactly what happens. Um, like I said, I don't know. Um, I've read one of Lainey Taylor's books before, and I liked it, but I wasn't interested enough in it to continue on with the series. But this one sounds more interesting and like maybe more up my alley, so. Let's hope it's a good one. I also bought Malice by John Gwynn. This I technically got for my husband, but I also want to read it. Um, so kind of also for me, just disguised as a book for my husband. Uh, and I really don't know what this is about. It seems like one of those, it's like grimdark, there's people stabbing each other. There is maybe some political shit going on. It is a big boy and it's very floppy and just nice to hold and flop around. And that's all I know about it. I also got him, <laughs> Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. Uh, I think this is also leaning towards Grimdark. Um, 
This is about a professor and his wife goes missing and he has to go through like the Tower of Babel to like find her or to find out where she's gone or, or something like that. Uh, this has been talked about so much and my husband read it, he just finished it and I haven't asked him how he liked it. So I guess it can't be bad because I'm sure otherwise he would have complained about it. But anyway, that's that book. I also bought um, another YA book. I think this one is maybe like YA grimdark, it seems like. Um, this is called Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. Uh, I don't really know a lot about this one. I read the synopsis, but it's like one of those, it's like so-and-so, a girl, so-and-so, a man, a bad man, and so-and-so, a man that might be good or bad you know, one of those synopsises. So I really have no fucking idea what this is about. Um, I'm still into it, I wanna read it. This one also has a cool surprise underneath the dust jacket. Mm, let them fear her, ooh, spooky. Uh, I'm excited about it. Every time I say that, don't take a shot because you will probably get alcohol poisoning because I say it too often. Okay, my last batch of stuff here are thrillers. Um, and I will tell you right here at the beginning, I don't like to read synopsises for thrillers, so I didn't do that. I will tell you if I think I know anything about it, I might not. I might be totally wrong, um, <laughs> but I'm not gonna read the synopsises. I'm sorry. The first one here is Triptych by Karen Slaughter. I've actually read this, but it was a long time ago. Um, it was when I was in high school and I can't, I remember like loving her books because they were graphic, but I can't remember what this was about at all. I know this is part of her Will Trent series. So I'm trying to recollect that and read them. I also got a copy of The Crow Girl by Eric Axel Sund. And I believe this is two authors. They look like they belong to Aerosmith. I love this picture, it is so great. Um, I, this is like a Nordic noir thriller and I don't really know what it's about. I just saw, I, I saw this on Instagram years ago and I've always just been drawn to this cover and it took me a really long time to find this cover. I'm not sure if this is like, um, maybe a UK edition or something like that. I don't know, uh, or if it's just hard to find in hardcover maybe, but I finally found it and I grabbed it because I wanna read it. Next I have I See You by Claire McIntosh. I just hear really great things about Claire McIntosh and I don't really know what this one's about. Um, something about a lady seeing a picture of herself on like a subway advertisement or I don't know. I could be way off. Maybe it's not that, but I don't know what it is then. So hmm. I also got a copy of My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. This is um, a very new release and I've heard really great things about it. I really wanna get to this one soon. I don't know what it's about besides that it's highly lauded and it is a domestic thriller. I'm here for it. Next, I have I Know You Know by Gilly McMillan. Don't really know anything about this one either, except for that it's twisty and it sounds like a blast. I also got a copy of An Unwanted Guest. I read her book, The Couple Next Tour, and I thought it was really decent. Um, it was one of those books that was just like super absorbing. I read it super quickly and uh, there were a lot of twists and red herrings and I liked it. So I'd really like to try some more of her stuff. And lastly here, I have two books that I've actually, um, well, one of them I listened to an audiobook, and one of them I had an arc of. So I went and I bought the copy because I liked, I enjoyed the arc. Um, the first one here is Sadie by Courtney Summers. I'm starting to lose my voice. Uh, this, um, I listened to it as an audiobook, 
and I listened to the audiobook specifically because so many people were saying that they loved it and I listened to it and I really liked the story um, but it was a full cast narration and so they had different people doing voices for different roles it wasn't just one narrator and I thought basically everybody besides like Sadie and like two other people just sounded like they were reading off scripts and it was it just took me right out of the story um it was a real bummer so I liked the I liked the story though uh so I bought it maybe I'll reread it at some point and Hopefully, um, I'll like it better. This is about a teenage girl whose sister is recently murdered and she goes missing. She's trying to find who she thinks murdered her sister. Um, so she goes missing and we hear from her, sorry, my arm itches. We hear from her, uh, we follow her finding whoever she thinks did it or looking for whoever she thinks did it. And we also follow, there's kind of like a podcast that somebody is doing about Sadie while she's missing. So it was a great concept. I just really didn't like the audiobook. Lastly here, I have a book I had as an arc. I really liked this book. I thought it was great. So um, I went out and I bought a finished copy of it. Finally, I read it like last summer or so. It's about time I did that. This is Baby Teeth by Zoe Stage. I should have looked up how to pronounce her name, but I feel like it's just fancy Zoe, hopefully. This is about an evil child and it is so good. She is very smart, but she is selectively mute. So she, pur she purposely doesn't talk and she hates her mother or so her mother thinks her mother thinks that she has it out for her um because she's like bad all day and then the father will come home from work and she'll just be like oh the sweet little mute child and stuff like that um so it's a really great book i would also like to reread this one because obviously arcs are not always final copies so there might be edits here that I didn't get to read so I love this cover too anyway that is part one of my April book haul hmm <laughs> I bought too many books this month anyways thank you so much for watching that's all I have for you for now but until next time see you later alligators